Hey, getting to where the whole damn TV is fucking garbage. myself. Am I glad you showed up? Any chance you could take me to a mechanic so I can get that death trap fixed? Mm. That's a bad place to break down. Yeah, it started spluttering at the crossing. Then the engine just cut out. Damn car, foreign trash. I've told my wife a hundred times, but she's like, oh no, Phil, you can't say that. Not anymore. She'll soon change her tune when she finds out I nearly died. All this fancy eco crap they put in cars now. We never asked for it. We never signed that treaty. A mile less to the gallon, and maybe I wouldn't have ended up on top of the train tracks. I'm at a loss for words. Could have fooled me. Makes a nice change, though, to get towed for a good reason. Normally, I'd be cussing you out, you know, asking you how you sleep at night. I'm sure you would, man. You been in the business long? Uh, I ain't exactly in the business. Just helping out a friend, dawg. Okay, thanks again. That could have been much worse.
dispatch. Broken down car at Spanish Avenue. Who's in the vicinity? Over. Yeah, I'll take that. 10-4. Copy that. Clear after you. Oh, me! Sorry, fool. You took your sweet time. I had traffic backed up for half a mile at one point. Drop me off at a repair shop, and one that's not gonna charge me a small fortune. Seriously unacceptable response time. I'm just saying. Shit, you can get out and walk if you don't like it. Whoa, simmer down, buddy. I'm not blaming you, per se. You're just the little man. I know that. I'm just saying, there has to be accountability. Not at the drudge level, but up top. I keep posting negative reviews online, and it's like nobody reads them. I know they don't. I get daily stats. You know, I've been towed three times in the last month, and the quickest response was 47 minutes. I'm just saying, maybe they need a new system. Or maybe you need a new car. Like I say, I'm not blaming you. My problem's with the mule driver. Not the mule. Enough. All right, you need to shut the hell up, homie. Well, we made it. I won't mention you on the complaint form. Not your ass, I hope. I covered that job, all right? Now stay off the rock. You feel me? I'm how life now, baby. It's a new dawn. That's dumb luck right there. There he is, my number one player. You ain't cleaned yourself up yet, Tanya? What the fuck is wrong with you? You said it was all good on the phone the other day. I was, and you know, I did. I was clean. That's why you didn't really see me around for a bit, but... JB, man, the smoking is real bad. Re real bad. I had a few days. But you ain't clean now. Exactly, okay? And now your ass gonna lose every fucking thing unless I help you, right? I heard this shit before. JB ain't doing so good. JB ain't well. JB's your cousin. He ain't my fucking cousin. Look, your mama smoked, nigga. You know what it's like. Don't you have a heart? I don't have much of a heart. But by doing this, I don't have much of a brain either. I love you, Franklin. I mean, I don't know what you want me to say. JB, appreciate all you doing. Just one more job with me, and I promise this is gonna be the last time. It better be. Now bring your ass on. Come on. So you want to hit? Hell no. Nah. What happened to you, Tanya? You used to be a good girl. 
Even good girls need some sugar on their cereal. Days get long on the block. You know how it is. No, I don't know how it is. Why don't you get out the hood? Away from JB. I love that nigga, man, but he bad news. What, like you? Like Tanisha? Find me some rich lawyer or doctor? That ain't real. Maybe JB ain't going places, but you know who he is? If he went his ass to work, that'll be a start. I Show me how good you I see this last time. This is dispatch. Come in. We have an accident on that funky boulevard. Over. We got it. Copy that, vehicle 29. Driver's badly injured. Phone box on the scene. Car needs moving to the nearest auto shop. 10-7. 10-7. 4 Tanya don't talk numbers, baby. Unless you talk in 420, then we got a date. Uh, 10-1, you're breaking up. Over and out. Man, ain't this like the fifth time? Ain't there any other fools out there you can guilt trip into working for no pay? You in the groove now, Franklin. And you and JB was homies before you had hair on your balls. Yeah, so you keep telling me. I still remember that time your grandpa caught you and JB slinging cigarettes. <laughs> Chased you all over South LS. <laughs> yeah, man, shit, that was a good hustle while it lasted. You still kicking it with that shit talk of Lamar? Oh, yeah, shit, I'm stuck with that fool forever. We didn't have much, but we did it right on Form Drive. about I heard about you rent boy in on the side selling yourself what that's what people are saying you know Sharonda's cousin Kiera's nephew Deontay skinny kid with the big head they call him golf club no I don't know Sharonda's cousin nephew he saw you with a rich white boy I ain't judging <laughs> I mean we all got bills to pay clearly you do better without me getting you all hot under the collar that should do it can you give me a ride back to the yard? Like I don't got nothing else better to do than drive your ass around. JB will make it up to you as soon as he gets back on his feet. Yeah, I heard that one before. We'll get some drink, get some smoke, get some good food. Do it right. Me, you, JB, Tanisha, if you want. Now that ain't happening. Okay. You, me, JB, and that clown Lamar Davies, old school. If you ain't too busy rent boying, that is. <laughs> well, fuck you. Franklin. Thanks again, baby. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> 